Hi, this is Chris Hendricks. After about 20 years of doing body work, I've noticed that one of the things that sets me apart from the rest of the crowd as far as body work goes, and one of the things that a lot of people are interested in, is the ability to do a postural analysis on somebody, either static or while they're performing an action, and be able to link that analysis to the problem that the person is experiencing and come up with an effective plan of action. So what I'm working on is putting together a visual dictionary of sorts of some basic concepts and terminology and then being able to go and link those in a way that really works for people. And the video that you see following this will be one of those videos. Thanks. See you on the other side. When you're looking at a person's profile and you're learning how to judge where the line of gravity falls through them, there are basically two different schools of thought. In fact, let me say that a little bit differently. There's really one school of thought, kind of the prevailing school of thought, and then there's another line of thought, which I think is much more valuable to start from. The prevailing school of thought is that when you place the plumb line on the body, it needs to fall through the ankle joint itself. Now, as you can see from this, if we put the line of gravity on the ankle joint, that the majority of this woman's body is in front of that line. And that makes sense, knowing her history and that sort of thing. Um, but I'm going to change and challenge the concept just slightly by saying that that's not actually the middle of her base. The middle of her base is actually the middle of her arch. That is the midline of her foot, and gravity will fall, given the chance, most powerfully through the middle of the foot. It's much more anatomically beneficial to balance the body's weight around that than around the ankle joint, for a couple of reasons which are a little complicated. But for the purpose of our discussion, let's just take the middle of the ankle, or rather the front of the ankle, or the, the instep, as the bottom of the plumb line. And as you can see when we do that, we get a dramatic difference in how her body sets up. Let me get that a little more straight. You can see that, see that there's still quite a bit of her, the volume, the mass of her body in front of, at least from this view, in front of the plumb line. But the difference between this and this is dramatic enough to take notice. Um, in particular, you can see that the shoulder line is pretty much right on line, and her head was perhaps a little bit anterior to the plumb line, but then we get to see where the majority of the issue might be in that her hips and lower abdomen and lower ribs are in front of the plumb line quite dramatically, as opposed to if we put the plumb line here. Now, given that her history is of back pain, I would say that this is going to give us far more information than this. Hi, this is Chris Hendricks. Thanks for your interest in my videos. I really appreciate it. If postural analysis and learning how to see people effectively is something you're really interested in, I'm going to encourage you to come to the page that you see at the bottom of the screen here and learn more. And for coming, I'll give you a free report on the basics of postural analysis, which will give you a, a decent intro and, and let you get more information and, and see if this is something that will really help you. So thanks again for your interest, and I'll look forward to seeing you again.